Hey, what's this all about? Well, I figured I'd share some thoughts on here, just general stories, things like that. Bad lighting, bad audio, doesn't doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Yeah, I got my, my dragon in the background still, and he's still there. Got him when I was a teenager at, at La Cremesse, the French Festival in Biddeford, Maine. One of the things I've been looking at is, you know, I watch Critical Drinker, who's awesome. If you don't watch Critical Drinker on YouTube, you gotta watch Critical Drinker. He's he's hysterical, funny. But you see these, you see these threads, these common threads, right? So he's talking about uh, character over over sort of, you know, the Michael Bay, you know, explosions and and visuals and things like that. And uh, that's that's his thing. He's a writer, so he's talking about. Better writing, better better character and story development is a better way to go. And uh, I think he's right. Um, but what is it when you're focused on, we'll say, well, what are the right elements to make a good series or a good movie or, you know, good entertainment? You know, how many explosions do you need, right? Well, that's that's a quantity. How, how, what should explosions look like? Like, how, how, how should they, right? That's a quantity. Um, well, how many people should get killed <laughs> if it's a Game of Thrones-like or or the... The House of the Dragon. How many people should get killed, right? Um, how many flips should we have in the movie? How many times should we steer in a different direction? Right? These are all materialist ways of thinking. And, you know, so Critical Drinker, he, he's, he's an author. He's got a, a bunch of books out. And, and he just started a, a campaign to, uh, to raise some money to do a short film based on one of his characters in, 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 in his books. And, you know... It's a Kickstarter. And well, what is Kickstarter? Like, what, what is that? It's, it's kind of anti-materialistic, right? These people are giving their, their money up to participate in something big. And like, they're getting something back for it, for sure. I mean, is it worth the money? I, I mean, what are you getting for that money? You're getting status. You're getting ego. Uh, but really, you're getting participation. Like, your money is a way to participate. It's not the thing that drives the world because you still have to spend your money. So in order for you to spend your money on something, uh, you have to be motivated to do that. And you also have to be motivated to get the money. So the money that you have to spend didn't come from the desire for the thing you're buying. It came from the desire to buy things in the future, right? And hopefully that came from a desire to do good work and get good pay, for example, so that you could Buy your food, pay your rent, pay for your electricity, join a Kickstarter for a funny guy on the internet, right? To make a funny thing or, or, a, or a really good, well-crafted drama or a book or, you know, a cool toy that you, can, that you can get or, you know, custom cases for your retro computers. Not that anyone's guilty of that. Um, that's what it is. It's participation. And so you see this thread of this materialism versus this participation, because really things like Kickstarter and Patreon and those things, these new ways of participating, um, are, are fighting back against the materialism, right? They're a response to the materialism. And they're not merely ways to, you know, put things in an economic frame and make money. They do that as a side effect, right? When you can give people a thing that they can be involved in, then they pool their resources with yours and together you build something you couldn't build alone. That's what money does. It does other things too, but it certainly does that. Uh, and it doesn't do it reliably and consistently because there's no reliable and consistent in the world, despite what science may indicate to you. And I think that's what's important. And I'm seeing this again, it's not only is the materialism in entertainment and the pushback is there too now with, with you know, things like Patreon, right, which Jordan Peterson leveraged, right, uh, being able to buy t-shirts. So Carl Benjamin, probably the most demonetized man on the internet, manages to raise, I don't know how much money, it was at least a million, I suspect, uh, and start a business in the UK, which is not the best place in the world to start a business. Not the worst, but it's not better than the United States. Um, hire, hires people as professional studio equipment, right, they get the whole thing going on, and then they get memberships and build a, a news organization, a member-based news organization when no one else seems able to do such a thing, right? And even the big news organizations can't convert to membership. You know, the New York Times tried it, a bunch of, bunch of papers tried it, a bunch of the, uh, a bunch of the uh, TV stations tried it. They couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. They're not nearly as successful uh, as Carl Benjamin. 
So you, you see these threads kind of pulling together, right? Where participation is coming to the fore. The, the, the loss of, of knowledge is as interesting or useful or information is the most important thing. Look, if you have the information, but you can't implement the thing, in other words, oh, I have a great idea. Okay, do you have enough money to implement the idea? Oh, well, well no. Well, what's the idea worth? Nothing. And I think we miss that. Like information requires action to be valuable. And there's a lot of information that you can't take action on. So not all information is valuable. Uh, and the information that I have might not be as valuable to somebody else, uh, or it might be way more valuable, right? I don't know. And value is not a stable thing throughout you know, the universal of all people. And these are... These are the problems. We're looking for universality, for a way to understand a world simply and everywhere we go. But that's consumerism. You know, these people who want the world to be the same, they don't move out to the Carolinas, you know, to some city without an Apple store because they, they, they have an Apple device. If you have an Apple device, you're a consumer. That's what you are. You're trapped in consumerism. I don't have an Apple device. I, I engage in some consumerism, but I'm not a consumer. I, I barely anything. I, I live an aesthetic life mostly, uh, except for my tech toys. I have more tech toys than most people, that's for sure. Um, but most other things I don't I don't have. Um, and I don't want, you know. So these threads are out there, and they're all the same thread, actually. They're all the same thing. This fight between this universalism, and then wanting to be an individual, right? Oh, we should all be the same, but well, except me, I want to be different because I, I you know, I might suggest my, my lived experience and you don't have that, you know, but, but we need everything all the same. That's a contradiction, you, you know, it's not gonna happen, right? And, and we need no, no conflict, right? So we should have conversation because if I can convince you through conversation, we won't fight anybody, that's foolish. With more conversations than ever, with more people than ever, and everything's getting worse. Right? Oh, no, no, it's information. If you knew, if you had the information that I had, no, that's not it. We have more information available at, at our fingertips than we ever had before, and everything has gotten worse as that has accelerated. There's a negative correlation, right, which is 100%. Correlation doesn't equal causation, but negative correlation means your theory or hypothesis or idea is wrong. It does mean that. We should take that seriously, right? So all of these things are, you know, showing up all over the place. And I track a lot of things, um, not the news anymore, but I track a lot of things. And you see this thread coming up all over the place on different rooms in Clubhouse, different YouTube channels, different forums. It just bubbles up, different, you know, different Reddit threads. All this stuff is bubbling up. You see it in the, throughout the entertainment industry. You see it throughout the, the, the culture on TV, right? It's just bubbling up. And so you should look for those patterns because the way to resolve a paradox is with a pattern because that's what a paradox shows is it, it exemplifies a pattern. And the pattern is the thing that makes the difference between the paradox. Anyway, this is my first video on this channel. Maybe my last video on this channel. I don't know. If you like it, well, let me know in the comments. If you don't like it, don't let me know in the comments because I don't want that. And why should you waste your time giving me space in your head? I'm out.